Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Browns. Um, the beer of the day today is Heresy. Uh, this comes from the Weyerbacher Brewery out of Easton, Pennsylvania. Um, now they're much notorious for more like Imperial Four Packs, um, that kind of thing. So they do high grav. Uh, they definitely do like more of the artisan side of things. Um, the Heresy is actually their old heathen Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. Um, so actually should be a whole lot of diversity and flavor here. Um, go ahead and crack her open and see where we're at. Alright, so I used an ESP glass. Um, I thought it might make the most of the head on this one. Um, it definitely helps. This is definitely what you would call a well-structured head. <laughs> um, now for an ESB glass, that's probably a pretty proper pour. Um, but, I mean, if you I don't know if you guys can actually see this at home, but there's almost like a honeycomb-like series of bubbles on the glass there. That tells you that there is a ton of malt in this beer. Um, and this head is probably going to stick around for a while. Um, black as night. Like, almost no color highlights to it whatsoever. So, aside from the fact that a stout uses a ton more malt, normally comes out a darker color, then they bourbon barrel aged it. Now, even if you do a golden ale, typically uh, something like a bourbon barrel aging is actually going to darken the beer a bit. Um, so this one, as you can see, is just dark as can be. Roast coffee notes, real heavy on the roast, really nice. Not like burnt. Uh, chocolatey at the very front, actually. That is um, that is a pretty inviting beer. It's still got a bit of that biscuity smell to it as well. Um, so this tells you that the malt build probably has at least a, a hearty helping of at least three different malts. Now this isn't as complex as say like a Moon Glow, like a Weizenbach. Um, but as far as the stout goes, this is, it smells absolutely delicious. And as you can see, that head is still sticking around pretty thick. Mm. Definitely a malty, malty beast. Um, and that biscuity smell that you get on the nose isn't followed through in the flavor profile. Uh, because of the bourbon barrel aging, it's actually kind of detracted a bit of that biscuit, biscuity flavor. And so instead of instead of getting more a soft finish, um, it's I, I notice you get the bourbon like at the end of the flavor profile, really. You get a hint of it at the beginning. The vanilla lends itself to that chocolate nose. Um, but at the end, it definitely moves into more of that, that maple syrupy bourbon, kind of almost butterscotchy. Um, but that is absolutely delicious. And 8% or not, this is a beer that will definitely put it to you. If you, uh, I mean, you know, you're only buying a four-pack anyway. Um, but definitely watch out. It will sneak up on you for sure. You guys have a good one, man. Hope you're enjoying good beer with good people. We'll see you later.